For better or worse, China has become the center of the world. It has a variety of influences. Let's take a look at the country of China. First of all, there are some things that we need to understand when we think about China. The country of China is actually divided into two countries. If you don't understand this, you will make the wrong decision. One is the Xi Jinping faction. This is the faction centered on Xi Jinping. The other is the Jiang Zemin faction. This is the so-called Shanghai faction. In fact, there is another faction, the Hu Jintao faction, but it can be seen as currently being controlled by the Xi Jinping faction. What will happen in China now? Xi Jinping's faction or or by the Jiang Zemin faction? We have to look at it from the perspective of whether it is the Xi Jinping faction or the Jiang Zemin faction. These two factions are fighting for power. For example, in the 2020 presidential election Joe Biden's son, Hunter Biden, was reportedly involved in a scandal. This is believed to have been leaked by the Jiang Zemin faction. Hunter Biden's Ukraine scandal comes to light. That the Biden family is close to Xi Jinping. The New York Post has already reported on this. Now, let's consider some recent major events. There have been reports of a crackdown in Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. It would be inaccurate to see this as racism or religious oppression by the Chinese Communist Party. In fact, it should be seen as the elimination of Jiang Zemin's interests by Xi Jinping's group. Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region was a region where autonomy was recognized. In fact, it is rumored that Jiang Zemin's faction was sucking up the wealth of this region. Therefore, Xi Jinping has been forcibly detaining Uyghurs for re-education and severely suppressing anti-government ideologues. The reason why Xi Jinping's group is ruthless to Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region is because Jiang Zemin's interest is there. This theory also applies to Hong Kong. I am sure you are well aware of the incident in Hong Kong. When I first saw the news, I wondered why the CCP did what it did for no one's benefit. What is the point of revoking Hong Kong's special status if it offends the US and benefits China as well? Hong Kong's appeal as a huge international financial center has disappeared. It was also a valuable place for the Chinese Communist Party to exchange Chinese Yuan for US dollars. Why would the CCP suppress speech in Hong Kong if it was losing this advantage? For the CCP, or rather, for Xi Jinping's faction, there was actually an advantage. Hong Kong was a huge market controlled by the Jiang Zemin faction. It is said that the Jiang Zemin faction has more than $1 trillion in financial power. Shanghai is the home ground of the Jiang Zemin faction, but Hong Kong is their second largest base. Since Xi Jinping became president, he has been blatantly eliminating the Jiang Zemin faction. The Jiang Zemin faction is a hotbed of corrupt politics, and its elimination is his primary goal. In recent years, the country of China has been hit hard by the massive amount of economic sanctions that are the gift of Donald Trump. The depletion of the dollar is particularly serious. Dollars are no longer available in China, and this is having a major impact on trade that is done in dollars. Switzerland is still on the Chinese side, so they are holding on, but. As Swiss Foreign Minister Cassis has already revealed, there are reports that at least $1 trillion in assets of Chinese Communist Party officials in Swiss banks may be frozen. This is despite the fact that CCP members are not allowed to move their assets overseas, and that $1 trillion is in Switzerland. If this were to be frozen, it would be a huge blow. On top of that, China is experiencing a massive grasshopper outbreak and food shortages. The CCP leaders have a trillion dollars, but the Chinese people are running out of food. In order to overcome this crisis, Xi Jinping's group is confiscating all Jiang Zemin's companies to obtain funds. One of the most famous Jiang Zemin companies is Jack Ma of Alibaba Group, who was in the news late last year for not showing up for a while. It is believed that he had some trouble with the Xi Jinping faction. Jack Ma said that he would step down as CEO of Alibaba in 2019 and then try his hand at the education business. In fact, he started to criticize Xi Jinping in his own newspaper and was rumored to be challenging for power. As you can see, Xi Jinping's faction has left no stone unturned to eliminate Jiang Zemin's faction and has ignored the law. When the state budget was insufficient, it confiscated Jiang Zemin's enterprises. And now they want to confiscate the entire region of Hong Kong. If we think about it this way, we can see that there were certainly people who benefited from what happened in Hong Kong. For the citizens of Hong Kong, it is only a tragedy. But to the current Chinese government, it is a small matter. China has become a large country and their power struggle has become globalized. They are encroaching on the world with their huge financial backing. The Jiang Zemin faction has at least a trillion dollars in assets. Now, there are forces that have helped the country of China grow to this level, but let's talk about that next time. The two Chinas. What do you think?